As a province, we too have a responsibility to remember the children who never came home. Minister of Indigenous Relations and Reconciliation Murray Rankin says September 30th is about taking time to reflect on the experience of residential school survivors and their families. Residential school survivor Phyllis Webstad founded Orange Shirt Day about 10 years ago. She recalled a story about her grandmother and her experience. She brought me to town to buy something to wear to go to school. I chose a shiny orange shirt. It was bright and exciting, just like I, how I felt to be going to school for the first time. I was unlike any other child at that age. When I got to the St. Joseph Indian Residential School, my shirt was taken and I never wore it again. Truth and Reconciliation Day is marked on the last day of September, the month many children were forced to go to residential schools where they were subject to horrific abuses, including Eddie Charlie, a survivor of the Cooper Island Residential School off the east coast of Vancouver Island. Today, 50 years after I left residential school, I still wake up every day with remembrance of what happened to me as a child. Labour Minister Harry Baines says the province is working on ways to commemorate the day, which gives time for workers to take part in community events. Well, every worker who is uh, covered under the Employment Standard Act uh, is entitled to have a day off uh, with pay. The day is already recognized as a stat in other provinces, including Prince Edward Island, the Northwest Territories, Nunavut and Yukon, and federally. Mira Baines, CBC News, Victoria.